Hey guys, this is Eckhart Slaughter. Hello and welcome to another Star Wars video. And we've got something very special today because we are looking at an incredible Star Wars fan project. A fan project by a friend of mine, in fact, Howie Day. Now, I've covered some of Howie's work previously on the channel. As you may or may not know, he's working on a Star Wars short film. If you see incredible clips during this episode, that's where they're from. And I've linked to his channel down below. Make sure to check out not only the video that we'll be discussing today, but basically everything on the channel because it's all really phenomenal and let's see if we can get those sub numbers up a little bit more. Before we get into the scene we'll be discussing today though I just want to show you guys a couple of more that I like. The first is called The Return which shows a couple of B-Wings returning to this massive rebel fleet with custom Mon Calamari cruisers and I love this. The movement of the ships, the way the engines and the shielding on the doors kind of have some movement to them. It all feels very real. And he's also been working on lately a very very cool battle which shows some rebel forces including mixed corvettes attacking an imperial frigate we'll talk more about some of these ships especially the imperial ones in a second and finally recently he's also been working on a really cool shot which shows i believe from what will be near the beginning of the film a couple of b-wings leaving a rebel asteroid base complete with exogorths and all all right so the video we're discussing today is a close look at the magister class Class Fleet Carrier. It's called Imperial Magister Class Fleet Carrier Grand Tour. And I mean, the name is perfect because we get a look at a pretty far along, if not complete version of this ship. And my goodness, is it absolutely beautiful. So the design for the Magister is based off a really cool sketch by an artist named Space Goose. And as you can see, the Magister's unique feature is its negative space in the middle. It almost looks like you could fit a Star Destroyer in there. Before we get to the actual ship itself, one thing I love right off the bat from this opening shot is that you can see several Imperial ships escorting this massive vessel. At the bottom left, we have the custom Imperial Nebulon B made by E.C. Henry, another friend of the channel. His idea was that the Nebulon B, as the Rebels use it, is basically a stripped-down version of an Imperial Nebulon B. So what would that vessel look like? Of course, we also see Lancer-class frigates, the Imperial's anti-starfighter capital ship, and even an interdictor in the back, but we'll get a closer look at those in a minute. As fighters fly by and we get a look at the resurgent like nose of the Magister, we can just see how much detail there is here from greebling and weapons to rooms that look like they would actually exist within the ship. We get an idea of the thing that I personally love about Howie's work. This looks like it's a model, of course, this was animated and modeled, but this looks like it's a real physical model, like a Star Destroyer from A New Hope. Part of that is just how good the model is and the way it's created, but another aspect is the lighting and everything else that goes into to making such beautiful shots. The video basically gives us a turnaround, so let's continue because we're gonna get a whole look at the entire ship. And again, I wanna draw your attention to the use of negative space, not only in the middle of the ship, but also we get trenches going around the brim. We get look inside windows and other aspects of the ship. And this is another thing that makes it look like a real model. Star Wars capital ships were given small details through what's known as greebling. Basically in the real world, you would take often small parts of other models and you'd add them to places on capital ships or services or whatever else in order to give it what looks like complexity without having to, you know, actually model specific pipes and whatever else. And we can see that greebling is used to great effects here. Star Wars capital ships would often also, will often be filled with small pinpricks in order to simulate light leaving as in windows. And of course, larger openings for hangers or larger windows or whatever else. And we see that done really nicely here because I think one thing thing that a lot of fan-made ships miss is that light. Star Wars capital ships have a lot going on. They're not just static objects. So especially when moving through space in a sort of glamour shot like this, you really notice all those little details. And we also get another look at that Lancer flying by, which is really cool. There's also one thing I love in particular about the back of this ship. It's something that reminds me of many of Fractal Sponge's models. The Magister has these large ball turrets, which of course have a wide range of motion. You can imagine them rolling around quickly and being able to target enemies behind you just as effective as in front of you and I think it makes a lot of sense especially for this portion of the ship maybe these are used primarily to blast targets on a planet's surface or maybe they're meant to defend the rear they look like they're quite mobile and quite versatile and I really like that of course as this is happening the TIE fighters are flying by beautifully we get the other ships in formation all of which adds to it the back of the Magister has what looks like not only a hangar but perhaps 
perhaps a reactor bulb indicating that yeah it, it has to be laid out different than an ordinary star destroyer because it is missing that central section and of course we get a beautiful interdictor model another good example of greebling there and that's just an absolutely beautiful model to me that especially looks ilm quality you could see that in the mandalorian and it would fit perfectly like the star destroyer the magister also has large turbo laser banks specifically double sets of octuple barbette turbo lasers on each side of the superstructure so that's a lot of firepower right there usually an isd2 will only have one of those banks of four weapons this has double banks on each side so that alone is a lot of firepower especially when you realize that this entire ship is covered with guns of varying sizes and that its purpose as we'll see in just a second is not purely as an assault vehicle or an assault spaceship i guess all right so my favorite thing about this model i would say would be hangar placement the really cool thing about the magister is that it's obviously a dedicated fleet carrier i saw someone in the comments compare it to a really upsized quasar and that's not a bad comparison i mean another thing i like is that the hangers are in reasonable places i mean the one in the back may be a little bit dangerous you have to worry about the engine wash but you also see starfighters launching from protected locations yes we do have as we can see right now the hangar on the bottom of the ship but we can see that a lot of the carrying is also centered in the protected sort of body that middle portion there ships coming out of those hangars especially this very large one are protected by a variety of turbo lasers and point defense systems and i can imagine some very cool scenes with somebody from the bridge looking down and seeing these fighters basically just be vomited out by this massive ship i mean this ship is really large and that's sort of unique sometimes with the venator yeah you can see them coming out the top hatch but this is certainly different for a star destroyer an imperial star destroyer that is all in all i can't say enough about the quality of every single thing that went into this animation the models on their own are really spectacular but when you add in everything else that howie can do everything from the backdrops and the way the ships are animated and lit and of course how he works with other really cool creators like ec henry to bring his nebulon b frigate in we've got something very very special and again this is just one scene one shot that i know he's been working on for a very very long time you can see how he's planning to have people inside cockpits look and how this space combat will look and i just think we're really in for a treat and we need to as star wars fans support these really impressive projects like the one howie day is working on because that's one of the best ways that we'll be getting cool content and we really got to support people we got to show them that we care because a lot of this work is completely unpaid it's made through passion so let's do what we can check out the link to howie's video down in the description subscribe to his channel and check out some other videos while you're there but until next time guys this is all for me have a good one be safe and may the force be with you